Seattle, Washington State's biggest city and one of America's most environmentally friendly. For the residents of Seattle, the natural world is a blank canvas. The locals paint the streets with their unique creativity and discover what makes them belong. Even still, people often take for granted all of the nature around them, not truly looking at the elegance of the earth. Unnoticed by most, Seattle, just like the world, is made up of four natural categories, earth, wind, fire, and water. While many people never take the time to appreciate the simplicity, there are some people whose lives revolve around these elements. Those that work the soil know that our earth gives us the fruits of nature and provide for not only us, but the innumerable amount of wildlife that surrounds us. The Mary Olson Farm is a working family farm in the backyard of the Olson family home, far outside of downtown Seattle. It's an educational destination where local schools are given the opportunity to bring their children to learn about farming and animal life. It's just a, it's just a little family garden. Carrots, potatoes, corn. Um, actually, the garden is more educational. We have, we have thousands of children that go through this one every year. And part of, what the, part of their experience is where do the things come from? Where does the chicken come from? Where does the egg come from? Where does the carrot come from? It doesn't come from Fred Meyer or Safeway. You know, it actually comes from the ground. I feel I am in my element. Well, not a certified, qualified, huge farmer, there's nothing more pleasing than to be the peace and quiet and no distractions from the city. When I'm out here working, I do feel as I'm in my element. Really, really nice to me. I'm happy to come here every morning and come and work because we get along well. It, it does feel like family, really. As a buyer from McPherson, first of all, I buy everything here. I taste everything, make sure that it tastes good, you know, or otherwise we don't, we don't carry it. I feel like uh, it, is, it is really important for us to get local produce because I think it's more fresher. Much like our earth, water is another key element in Seattle. The water represents Seattle's free-flowing attitude and their plentiful supply of Pacific fresh fish. Just inside the hustle and bustle of the public market, the world-famous Pike Place Fish Company is the center of attention due to their world-famous fish-throwing attraction and their high morale. It's the oldest operating market in the United States, and it has things from all over the world. Every corner of this planet, there's a product and a stand that you can buy from. It's not like going to Safeway something's gone from the factory, put in a box and put it on the shelf. This is a guy growing stuff, or a guy sewing things, or making things himself, and then putting it on the shelf and selling it to you directly. We, uh, we believe in having fun. Every year, cruise ships come in, and it's a big crowd. What a great opportunity these people and show them how great Seattle is just make them all feel welcome. This is definitely where I belong. I've been here 25 years and I ain't going nowhere. Even though water is all around us, the people of Seattle, especially those that work with the water, know how to take care of their beautiful oceans for generations to come. So we're really big on sustainability, which means all the fish that we, we buy and sell are caught in a way that doesn't deplete the stock or harm the environment. So we're really connected to making sure the oceans are alive and vital for the future. Because we want our children to be able to eat fish. kind of want my kids to work here maybe one day. My parents are still in Port Orchard. So I hop on the ferry on the Puget Sound and ride it an hour to go back to Port Orchard to visit my parents. So the Puget Sound has always been my pathway back to my home. In contrast to the cool, familiar waters, fire is what really heats up Seattle. Fire isn't only for keeping toasty in the winter, it can also contribute to one of Seattle's biggest aspects, art. The Seattle Glassblowing Studio harnesses the dangerous power of fire and turns it into colorful, delicate glass. Seattle is the number one glassblowing city in the entire United States. Um, so it's definitely where you want to be if you want to blow glass. A lot of the reason that Seattle is what it is is because of Pilchuck School of Glass. It's pretty much our school that brings glass blowers from all over the world together and it's created this community around it. So Seattle Glassblowing Studio is an open access studio. 
um, which is different than a lot of studios because the majority of studios will not allow the public in. Some may allow you to watch, but we actually do teach classes. We do have a full gallery here. We make all our, or the majority of the stuff in that gallery here at this studio. I mean, I really like the heat. The oven that we're working in front of, that's a 2,150 degree oven. Um, so it's all just that molten material. And then once we get it out, we're working in front of a 2,000 degree oven all day long. For Philip, glass blowing is more than just a job. Like all artists, his work sparks a deep passion and connection both for his city and within himself. For me, I've always really liked working with, I mean, I like working with my hands. I like wood, I like metal, um, and I've all, always been pretty artistic. I like art, and so this is a good combination for me. Just really fits, puts me in my element, you know, playing with the glass, playing with fire. I, I couldn't see myself doing anything else but blowing glass. High above it all, often not noticed, are those who work the air in Seattle. They say they have a special connection to nature and the earth, having the opportunity to see it from above and revel in its beauty. As pilot Brandon Meadows will tell you, he's literally in his element whenever he takes to the skies. So we are Seattle seaplanes uh, here on the east side of Lake Union. Uh, we have four aircraft in our fleet. We have two Cessna 206s, both of which are six-seater aircraft, a Cessna 172, which is a four-seater that we use uh, for training a lot, and a Stenson 108. We do tours, charters, and flight training all here off the waters of Lake Union. Uh, tours are a big one, again, flying over Bill Gates' house and past the stadiums. Uh, but we also do destination charters, so we can get up to Victoria, B.C., out to the Alderbrook Resort, um, out on the Hood Canal, and so we do a little, little bit of it all right here. The kind of feelings I get uh, when I'm in the air is, in a word, it's a rush. Uh, it's something I've loved. I've, I've been flying for about 17 years now, since I was 13 years old, um, and it's an amazing feeling to line up either on a runway or, or with us here on the lake, see the end of it, you get up to speed, you push your throttle forward, and you pull back on the controls a little bit, and the world leaves you. And it's just you, especially when you're the only one on the plane. It's just you and, and the sky. It's everything you could ever imagine wanting it to be. When I fly, I feel connected. Um, and it's, you go up in the sky and you realize that you see the, uh, so much of the earth, so much more of it. And you realize that we're all under the same sky. We all breathe the same air. And you really feel connected with almost everyone, especially on, on a night flight when you get up above the haze of the city, out a little ways from the city, uh, the light pollution, you can see the stars and they're, they're beautiful. They're the most clear you'll ever see them at about, say, 10,000 feet, a few miles out from town, and you, you feel connected. From creating glass sculptures out of nearly nothing, to continuing the traditions of natural farm life, and from the enormity of the sea and the expanse of the air, the beauty of this nature-filled environment brings the community of Seattle together in different ways.